comes rolling. Okay, this is the Lakshmi documentary, take two. <laughs> I had an opportunity to stand on the Lakshrama stage at the time, mind you, when the stage could still revolve. I know, I just blew your mind. Lux was like one of the theatres in our colored community. When once you land there, you've practically sort of made it. <laughs> and that's when I stood on that stage at that day and I looked at this video and said to myself, I'm going to put a show up here. Well, it hopes to remind younger audiences about the space and what it stood for and allow older audiences to reminisce about earlier years by tapping into the music and memories of the period. Well, that's a new documentary called A Cape Town Song, The Story of the Lakshrama. The iconic multiracial speakeasy venue has launched the music and acting careers of many local artists for more than 40 years, breaking down many of the race, class and social barriers imposed by apartheid. Now, to tell us more about the documentary, we're joined on Zoom by its producers and filmmakers, Nikki and Liesl Prim. Uh, lady and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Nikki, I want to start with you. Give us a brief history morning. into the iconic Lakshrama Theatre and what the space or what the institution is. Yeah, fine. I think um, Liesl is actually a bit more qualified than me since she spent the first 25 years of her life growing up in that place because her mother worked there. Um, so, Liesl, do you just want to chat a little bit about it? All right, Liesl, take um, over. Well, the Lakshadama is a place very close to my heart. Um, I grew up there for the first 25 years of my life. And um, it was for people, you know, every, everybody, any color, um, any age, you know, it was just everybody could come to the Lakshadama and forget about where you come from, you could forget about um, what you were struggling with. Yeah. You know, it was, it was just a space to be in and just enjoy yourself for like two hours, enjoy yourself, enjoy the music, enjoy the people, and just be there and, and just be a part of what was happening on that amazing stage. Mm -hmm. Now, Lisa, do you remember some of the uh, actors that you had seen at that time? I mean, you were younger then. And who were these iconic uh, actors that were gracing this uh, stage? So I was there from around about the 80s, um, and there were people like Alistair Isabel, Lukman Adams, Emo Adams, Zane Adams, um, Tally Peterson. Mm. Um, there, was, there were so many amazing people, like Kaz Isaacs as well, um, the Leslie Klein Smith, The Rockets, The Flames. These were all people that graced the stage of the Lux, and it was just amazing. I didn't see all of them. Um, because I was, some I was them, a kid. <laughs> some of them were before, and some of the international acts were before that. that yeah, was, yeah, like, the international like people. Like Connie Francis, um, Dusty Springfield, um, but Peaches and Herb were in, the, in your time, right? In um, the 80s, or but I, before I that. I think just before the 80s. Just yeah. before that. Um, yeah, Engelbert Ampedink. Yeah, so lots, mm. lots of international mm. and local acts, and it, it launched the careers of a lot of local acts as well, you yeah. know, and... Our, our story is about um, this hallowed stage, you know, that was so important and so significant in so many people's lives and how it launched so many careers. Um, but then how we sadly turned our back on, on, this, on this beautiful venue once, once we got out of apartheid. So this building was so instrumental in getting us through this difficult, difficult period as a people and as a, as a, yeah, as a community. Um, just to then turn our backs on it when when um, when we became a democratic country. So so that's the story that we want to tell. Our, our it's a bit of sweet tale, you know. Mm. It's a it's a bit of sweet tale. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> and who are the Quite creatives? Emotional. Who are the creatives that you interview in a Cape Town song, the story of Lakshrama? Yeah. Okay, so that's for um, we've spoken to. To a few people, um, a few of the older artists in the in the civil reel you played there, you saw Molly Barron, you saw um, Steve Fattar wasn't in there, but but we we have in, interviewed Steve Fattar. Um, unfortunately, we've we've lost um, both of them. They've passed on um, during the COVID 
period. Um, so it's, it's vitally important for us to get this done sooner rather than later because unfortunately a lot of, a lot of the, the important people are a bit older and, and yeah, we, we want to interview them before they pass away. Mm. Um, yeah, and then in that interview, you also saw Kaz, Isaac, Emo Adams was there. Um, and then there's a few people we still have to interview. We haven't yet interviewed like quite a lot of, of um, musicians, and artists, and um, yeah, there's, there's, there's probably 20, 20 to 30 people we need to yeah. interview. Mm. Yeah, oh. and in addition to that, we are interviewing Liesl's mom and our aunt who both work there, um, and a couple of the other aunties who also work there who were, who were integral to, to, to like, the, the, like the running of this place, you know, getting the, 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 the outfits, you know, the, the fancy outfits yeah, and they're... things like that prepped and yeah, making sure that the artists ate something. <laughs> All of these things that happen behind the scenes, you know, that a lot of people don't know about. All right. Yeah. I'm going to let you go so we can attend your son's soccer practice. But thank you so much for talking to us. Let us know when it's all out so we can all watch it. Filmmakers and producers Nikki and Liesl Prim speaking to us about a documentary on the iconic multiracial speakeasy venue, the Lakshrama Theatre, that has launched the music and acting careers of many local artists for more than 40 years. All right, let's take a quick ad break. We'll give you news after this.